guys and welcome back to another baddie mom vlog i'm so excited to be vlogging for you guys today because i was being so consistent with the vlogs but then everything with dreamy babe and just like life i've been a little busy and i've been a little absent from you guys but welcome back to another vlog i'm gonna bring you guys along my day i have a few orders to package and send those out today and i'm about to get sophie ready for her day she finished her breakfast i had to film a quick little video so i did that i was trying to leave for the gym right now but sophie's like a so attached to him literally the biggest daddy's girl ever she does not want to let him go anywhere so i'm trying to distract her right now so that she can let him leave also i'm getting everything ready for dreamy babe new arrivals this week coming up so i'm getting my little mini warehouse ready the team is getting it ready aka me the team consists of me daniel and sophie i have i have everything organized in there and i'm having a new like little system for my inventory so i'm getting all of that ready and yeah you guys let's get on with the day um i already got ready a little bit i'm still Still wearing my PJ pants because my gym clothes is dirty, but Daniel's about to head to the gym and then I'm gonna go to the gym later. So for now, I hang out with my little Sophie, get her ready, package some orders, go to the post office, and then we'll see what the day takes us. Literally, Daniel just left, you guys, so I can't like just leave right away with Sophie. No, 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 please. Can I, can you leave it there, please? Can you leave it there? Don't touch it, okay? Sit down. Let me do your hair, please. Can I do your hair? And then we're we'll going to Nana's? You wanna go to Nana's or not? <gasps> Baby, let's go over here. Don't touch it, please. Can I fix your hair? And then you can have it, yeah? She said no. No. Dad. No, 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 no. I give up. Dad. It's impossible to vlog with her right here because she always wants to just grab the camera. You okay? Are you going to do your hair? Do your hair. Wow, que bonita, it's a bonita, it's a bonita. It's a PJ's type of day, okay guys? Um, She obviously does have clothes, but it's still hot in Arizona, okay? I know it looks like I'm wearing a sweater. This is like super, super thin material, like it's just for the gym. Um, And obviously I'm gonna take her sweater with us, but I usually don't dress her for like cold time until later on. She had a dress on earlier, se lo quito, so. It's gonna be a PJ's type of day. And these are our favorite little sets from Old Navy. It's literally like a two-piece set and like they're perfect for every day. Cabecito. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so sweet. I love you so much. She's being sweet right now. She was really mad that her dad left. But she's here, brushing her hair. Look at how long her hair has gotten. Isn't that crazy, guys? You guys, I feel like I have not caught up with you guys in a little minute. I have been so busy with Dreamy Babe. I just dropped new arrivals, so I have been busy, girl. I wanted to vlog for you guys because I feel like I finally have my little setup for Dreamy Babe. Like, um, kind of more put together now. Like, at first, I had no idea what I was doing, dude. Um, but now I finally updated my website. Um, I dropped new arrivals, and I'm about to drop new arrivals again soon, or like a holiday collection. So make sure you guys go and check it out. But I have my little packing station right here. I have pretty much all of my inventory right there in the back. And then like so much stuff right here on this desk. I was gonna film like a little TikTok pack in order. Here, right here are my little thank you cards. Writing handwritten notes on every single thank you card. It is the holiday season. I wanted to throw in a little extra um, stuff for the order. So all of my orders are gonna be getting like a little sweet um treat or like a candy cane and then for all my big orders are gonna be getting one of these little cute um chocolates just because it's the holiday season i want people to be excited when they open their packages happy when they open their packages so i don't mind throwing in all this little extra stuff here i have my stickers and i have more stickers in here ignore the way i look okay because i'm looking a little crazy guys I literally have not even been to the gym in like four days. I'm gonna go today because I'm really falling off track like with everything. So I need to get back in the gym, girl, because I feel like after like a week or two, like you're not as motivated anymore. Just turn on my printer and then I'm just gonna go on to my little Shopify and I'm gonna click on all of my orders that are not um, done yet and then I'm gonna print everything out like on my little packing slips and then once i have my packing slip basically just has like the person's information and it has every single thing that they ordered on there so then after i print these out i go to the back where my inventory is at and then i pick all of the items that they that they got and then i put their packing slip on top and then i package everything and then i print the shipping labels and then i put the shipping labels on there so 
yeah, it's a whole process, but I actually love packing stuff. Like I love packing orders. They got our Luna Knit sweater set in a size medium. So I will go back there and grab the correct size, which is actually right here. So, so this is our Luna Knit sweater set. One of my favorites. It's so cute and comfortable and soft. Now is I look at the item and I make sure the size is correct, which it is. And then I will go on the packing slip and then I just put a little check mark just so I know that I really put in the correct item one of my little thank you cards and then i like to write their name on there so this girl's name this girl's name is Brittany. so shout out to Brittany. write handwritten notes on all of my orders so there's her little note and i actually got new thank you cards these ones look like this and i got them white on the back so that i could write thank you notes on there but, but I just got new ones that I like a little bit better. Let me show you guys. I just got these new ones and the quality of these is like so much better. I think those ones are nice quality too, but I like these a lot better. I got this from a different company. And the front is the same exact thing. And then the back just says thank you. So I was going to get one of those like, you guys know those metallic uh, Sharpies? So that way I could write their name on there and it already has a thank you. Now I grab one of my little poly mailers. And then I'm gonna stick her item in here and I'm gonna stick it in like this so that when she opens it, she can see the tag and everything get in there like so. And then I'm putting her little thank you card inside of her packing slip. Like that. And then everyone gets a official Junity sticker. And then I've been throwing in like little extras for my orders, like little like candy canes and chocolates and stuff. And then for my big orders, I have uh oops. For my big orders, I have like these cute little chocolates with like a little bow because it's the holidays and I really, really appreciate every order, but I appreciate it even more on the holidays because I know y'all gotta be buying gifts. So if you're buying for me, I really appreciate it. And I know it's just like a little candy cane, like a little chocolate, but I feel like I would be happy to open this. And I'm waiting on these stickers so that I can actually put a sticker right here so that then people can open it and like their stuff doesn't fall out. But so far, I haven't had any issues. The candy canes though, I didn't think through because People might be getting broken candy canes, which I'm sad about. I think I'm just gonna take the candy canes off altogether, but it's the thought that counts. Take off the little thing, and then I'm gonna close up their package. Like so, I try and take all the air out. I grab one of our warning stickers. Look at how cute these are. I'm obsessed. And then I put these right on the part where you open the, the package because I heard that sometimes the post office be going through your shit. So I'm putting this sticker as a little bit of extra security. And here we have our package all done. Look at how cute. I'm literally obsessed. How cute is this? And then obviously their shipping um, label is going to go right here. But I'm going to print that out. And then we're going to get the date going. Real crazy girl. I need to run. To old navy because not only do i have to go get the stuff i have to get ready and girl i'll be taking forever getting ready um and then um 
I'm gonna stop by over there and then print out um, or leave the packages because there's a um, there's a post office right there. Excuse the angle, guys. I'm parked next to two cars and I'm low-key embarrassed. And I don't even have my phone tripod and or my cam my car tripod and my camera's dying, like I said, and I forgot the charger. But I got Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in so long because I feel like I stopped going because every time I would go, my coffee was bad. And I'm talking bad, girl. You guys know when coffee has that like bitter aftertaste, and like people are like, Oh, I would tell them to remake it. No, I don't even tell them to remake it at this point because even even when I tell them to remake it, uh oh. Even even when I tell them to remake it, like, it's not good still. So, I just stopped going. But we got an iced coffee. I got a grande iced coffee with vanilla sweet sweet foam, half and half, and extra caramel drizzle. Pray to the gods that it's good. It's not bad. I think I just need to shake it up a little more. But it's not bad. It's drinkable. I don't know why every time I've been coming to this specific Starbucks, their coffee tastes like watered down to me. Because it low-key tastes a little watered down. But I would rather that taste than like the bitter ass taste that usually um, they have. Then I got a double smoked bacon sandwich. So I'm starting off my morning by getting ready. I'm starting my, my days going to the gym. And I have not gone to the gym in like two weeks. I'm telling you guys. I've been so busy now a new business owner. I've been just kind of getting the hang of things. I finally launched my boutique. Make sure you guys go um, shop if you guys have not. The pump for my foundation broke. We're starving right now, but I'm getting ready because I need to shoot um, our snatched leggings or like new arrivals. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions on if I'm gonna plan to restock certain things. And for, and I, and I feel like I don't have a lot of plans to restock a lot of things unless they did like super, super well or like they're super, super like high demand. Like if you guys are really, really asking for it. But for the most part, I kind of just want to focus on bringing in new stuff, like new cute stuff. So that's kind of what I've been more so focused on and kind of learning like what my audience, like what kind of stuff my audience likes. I launched um, these flare leggings. They are our snatch flare leggings. So um, probably by the time this vlog is up, they should be on the website. If not, like they're going on the website really soon. Um, I just got the shipment yesterday. And I put them on the website and literally those sold out like this. Like I was on a live and I was wearing them and everyone wanted to go buy them. So I definitely wanted to restock those because they are so freaking nice. But even though I'm not going to do a lot of restocks, unless you guys really, really, really want it. Um, there's things that I always want to have on my website. Just like basics. Like those snatch leggings are so freaking nice. Like watch, I'm going to put them on right now and I'll show you guys how cute like how nice they fit um and i'm actually bringing them in new colors which i'm so excited about because the first time i only brought them in black and i'm excited to be launching new colors for you guys and yeah i haven't even been in the gym for like two weeks no maybe not two weeks like maybe almost two weeks now maybe like a full week that i haven't been to, been in the gym so bad <laughs> I was like on my fitness grind girl, but I've just been so busy with Jimmy Bay with all my orders Obviously, I'm a full-time mom So I don't have a lot of time for stuff and Sophie's sleep schedule has been out of control right now. We're like Hi Right now we're trying to get her on a good schedule again because it's been horrible last night She kept us up till 4 a.m. And she like is so upset like we're dealing with like an overtired baby every single night and it has been absolutely nuts. She's here with me. My stomach is growling. And also, I was not, not only was I like, I'm telling you guys, I was doing really good with my fitness, my eating, getting my protein in, all that stuff. But I've been so busy. And when I get busy, I don't know if I'm the only one, but if I, I've heard other people say this, but when I get busy, I tend to like forget to eat. Like not for me, I don't forget to eat because girl, I'd be feeling hungry. Like my stomach is absolutely growling right now. But I just don't like no me da tiempo. Like I'm busy doing a bunch of stuff. So I think that's also why we've been having like a little bit of a hard time getting up in the mornings too, like early. Oh baby. 
What? You okay? You want me to carry you? Uh huh. Okay. Come here. Uh -huh. Sophie just woke up. <laughs> Look how cute she looks. So I think that's why I've been having a hard time getting up early, early in the morning. I was literally getting up like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. and I was going to the gym. But also for me, for some reason, when I go too early to the gym and I have nothing in my stomach, I feel like I don't get as good of a workout in. But also I think it's just because I'm not eating good all around. I need to be getting my meals in, especially if you're going to the gym, burning all those calories. You need to be getting your meals in. And I have not lately, to be honest. But I think I'm going to start meal prepping because that will really help me out. And then for today, I really need to make it to the gym. But we're going to go to Old Navy to get some stuff for Sophie and return some stuff that didn't fit her. I'm going to put you down? No. I'm going to carry you? Oh, here. I'm going to put you down and I'm going to give you a toy, yeah? Here. Here. Use this. And I have to go to Staples. No. What's wrong, baby? Mm -hmm. She likes to get my palettes, but I'm not going to give her the palette. She makes a huge mess with the palettes. What's wrong, baby? You can't have those. Those are not for babies. No. No? I'm this girl, I swear. Um, and then we have to go to Staples because I need to get new tags for my um, like new little business cards because I ran out. Which I ordered some from the website, I usually get them, but they're not going to be here till December 28th and I haven't, um, and I've, and I've given, and I've been getting more orders and I can't put, like, no business card in there. What's wrong? No, I can't give you that. I can carry you if you want, but I'm not going to give you that. No! I'm sorry. Dude, toddlers are insane. You okay? What's wrong? You can't have those. They're not for babies. No. They're not for babies. Those are for mommy. No. No? Mm -hmm. She loves playing with my makeup. She loves putting my heels on. She's literally me. Huh, baby? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. You can't have those. Those are not for babies. No. Okay. I'm going to finish getting ready, okay, guys? Then we'll catch up with you guys. We'll probably go get some lunch somewhere, so I'll bring you guys along our whole day. Out getting some quick little lunch, our very first meal of the day, you guys. So we have like a little snack, but nothing crazy. Um, I got a bunch of content that I'm going to get done. done. Hi, my Sophie looks so cute. Look how cute she looks. You want to eat? Wow. Want to eat? She's entertained by the little one I'm on the top. It is here. I got a regular, just a regular cheeseburger, some fries. This is the bread they bring you. And literally, cheddar's queso is the best I've ever tried. I'm going to do a little taste test. I had cut this piece for Sophie, but she's not going to eat it, so cheers. Mm -hmm. So, guys, it is the day after Christmas. Hopefully you guys all had an amazing Christmas with your family and your loved ones or whoever you spent Christmas with. Um, I It is currently 4.59. <laughs> Daniel's like sending me a video of Sophie. It is currently 5 o'clock right now and I am about to send out all my orders that I got for Christmas. Thank you so much to everyone who has ordered. We actually have a 50% off sale. I did a 50% off sale and girl, a lot of girls went ham i literally got like big orders like really big orders like this one girl got like 145 dollars off her order and yeah you guys i just finished packaging everything so i'm printing out all of my shipping labels and then i'm gonna run to the post office and get them um shipped so freaking excited thank you so much thank you so much to everyone who has placed an order what is going on something's wrong with my printer hold on So, really, if you guys have any type of business, invest in a roller printer. Is It is the best investment I have ever made in my life. Um, I just printed out all my labels. I'm going to shut off my, my, my little computer and shut off my little printer. And I'm going to put all the labels on the orders. And we're going to run to the post office. Um, I think some of them are UPS, so I have to go to UPS as well. 
Um, look at this huge order I got, literally. Oh my god. New little system going. Um, basically, what I do is I'm gonna be organizing pretty much all of the inventory that I have left because a lot of stuff sold out. Um, so I'm gonna organize all the inventory today. Hi, baby. Can you go put a shirt on? So if he has like no clothes, he just take a shower. So I'm gonna organize pretty much all of the inventory that I have left, and we're having a lot of new stuff dropping soon. Um, so he wants to say hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> she just took a shower. Mm. He's getting dressed right now, but I was struggling a little bit um, when I had a lot of orders like to go to the post office to, to go do it by myself because I'm doing literally all of this by myself. Um, so I decided to get, I or I saw, um, I was at Target and I saw that these bins were on sale. And these are usually really expensive. So I got this huge bin. I got like two of them um, and I've been putting all my orders in here and it's been working out perfectly. So I have, I have pretty much all my orders right here i like have them all done and labeled take my shipping labels and i'm gonna put them all on the packages and then throw them all in this bin and then they're all going to the post office Sophie just took a shower, guys. Don't mind her. <laughs> but yeah, this little bin is so perfect. Because look, now I could just take the bin, go drop off my orders, and I'm not going to be struggling. So I'm just going to load this up into the car. I was going to say to the truck. And then we're going to head over to the post office. Maybe grab some Chipotle. Um, I'm going to fix Sophie's hair right now before we go. She always wants the camera. Um, and then we're going to get some Chipotle. And then hopefully gym. I have not been to the gym in like two weeks, you guys. So bad. We've been eating so bad. We've been waking up so late. Because Sophie's like going through like a sleep regression or something. I have no idea. But she's been literally keeping us up to like 5 a.m. <laughs> we're trying to fix her sleeping schedule. Fix our schedule. Because my life doesn't function when I wake up so late. And I've been waking up late like every single day. the scenes of recording a vlog i left the camera there drove off and then i ran back to get my camera <laughs> oh there was senora right there she saw me live there you want to have an aesthetically pleasing home but you have one of these things can i have one no okay this little corner right here with like a lot of the toys that she usually plays with a lot and her grandparents, Daniel's parents, actually gave her another kitchen. So now she's going to have two kitchens. Can I have one? No. Mm. Give me one. Mm -mm. Hey, you need to learn how to share, okay? Be nice. Give me some. Thank you. Guys, um, so for a while, Sophie has been needing like a little table and chairs because... If you guys didn't know, in our home, we don't really have a dining table. So we usually just eat at the bar stools. And they're a little bit too high for her. So I found this actually at Walmart. And it was only $40. So it's a little table with her matching little chairs. Open this up and put it together for her. Because she's been needing a little table. She usually eats on the couch. And sometimes there's like a lot of dog hairs. Obviously, I dust it off. But like, I think she just has been needing a table and chairs.
cute you guys! Wow, wow princess! Can I see it there with you? Can yeah. I see that with you, baby? Can I have one? No! Okay. <laughs> We're working on sharing, guys. Um, but I like it. Only forty dollars, and it's like super easy to like wipe down and stuff. And I, she has been needing one of these because she needs an area like to eat her food at. She doesn't like to sit in a high chair anymore, so I feel like that's what she won't eat sometimes.